hey guys this is vishal so in this course i'm gonna cover the scatter gather router in mule first we will briefly understand the concept of the scatter gather what is scatter gather what is the use of it then we will understand the implementation of the scatter gather using one small scenario so what is scatter gather basically scatter gather is a routing message processor it sends a request message to multiple message processor or routes concurrently. Then it collects the responses from all message processor and then aggregates into a single response and pass it for the further processing or transformation. Each route in scattergather can be an individual mule flow. Scattergather waits until all route finish or timeout configured by user in scattergather component. If any route fails then it sets an exception payload for the route and throws composite routing exception. This concurrent execution behavior improves the efficiency of your mule application greatly. Now as you can see on the right hand side this is the screenshot of this scattergather component in a mule where you can configure the multiple routes or mule flow inside that component and execute it concurrently. Now let's take one small scenario and understand how we can solve this problem using scattergather component. Now our problem statement is we want to aggregate time zone details of multiple regions like New York in America, London in Europe, Kolkata in Asia. As of now we want time zone details for only 3 regions but the requirement may go up to 100 regions in future. One simple approach could be going with a sequential processing where I'll call time zone API three times by passing region as a parameter. Then I'll collect response of each call and keep appending to the main output. I'll able to get the result correctly. However, this approach is a time consuming approach when the region number goes to 100. In the second solution, I could go with the concurrent processing where I'll make a three calls to extract time zone details concurrently. Then I'll aggregate all the responses once I got together and pass it for the further processing. This is where I can use the scattergather component to spend less time on processing by implementing the concurrent execution. So let's go ahead with implementation of this solution. Alright, so here I am in AnyPoint Studio. I have created a project called scattergather tutorial for it. So let's go ahead with creating a new flow for it. Before that, in order to get the time zone details, I'll be using the API or the REST endpoint called wordtimeapi.org. Here I'll be passing area as a value so that I can extract the time zone details of the different regions so let me go to the postman and show you how we can do that so here this america slash new york is a single value i'm passing to this rest endpoint in order to get the details so let's say if i change it to some other value europe and london and i hit send button i'll get the details for that particular region so this API I'll be using in my mule flow. So I switch back to any point studio and start creating with my flow. So the first component required is HTTP listener. So I get the HTTP listener and drag it into my mule palette. Inside connector configuration, I'll be creating a new configuration for it. I'll keep host as the same, port as the same and inside a base path. I'll give you something like get time zone info. Alright. I click OK. Here I'll keep it as is. Inside allow methods, I say get. I save it. Now the next component I'm gonna pull in is cat together. So I just drag and append it to my HTTP listener. Now, inside its properties, the aggregation strategy as of now I'm considering is the default strategy. If we want to change it to our custom strategy, we can select from from class or from reference. So these two properties or two options are available over here. As of now, I'm going ahead with the default strategy. Inside advanced properties, we can also mention the timer. So 
I'm mentioning it's a 5000 millisecond it's in a millisecond so default threading profile I'm keeping as it's I save it now go ahead with creating a route so I'm gonna call a time zone API so I need to create a HTTP request configuration so I'll be pulling a HTTP connector and putting inside this cat together all right so I give the display name as a time zone one again the connector configuration I click add now here I have to mention host post port base path from the API I showed you before so the host name will be word time api dot org so i just copy all from here and paste it inside host part port will be by default 80 and here the base path will be api slash time zone so i'm gonna mention it over here and click ok that's it inside path just a forward slash method is gate right now inside path i'm just giving a forward slash now i'll have to mention the value so i'm gonna hard code the value so first of all is america and it's 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 gonna be a single value new york so first HTTP route is created now let's go with the second route again drag HTTP connector just right below the first one I'll give it a name as a time zone 2 2 connector configuration is already configured here we just have to change the value so I here mention Europe London method again get I save it now the third one again the same procedure I follow create a third one change the display name over here and inside path I'll be giving I'll be giving a value Asia Kolkata and method again get now as we have seen earlier the details are getting in a JSON format but now we want it in an XML format so we'll have to transform it into the XML format so in order to do that we will be needing transformer so I'll go ahead and transform it I'll pull it and add right after this scatter gather component it won't be a part of scatter gather we'll be aggregating the results of all these routes and transforming collectively so here the output strategy would be xml and here i'll be mentioning my transform message let's say time zone info inside it i'll be mentioning something called payload that's it as of now I'm not gonna do anything all right my bad I just made a mistake okay it's like this payload okay now eventually I put a logger and get it just to print the result so I'll add it over here the payload the second just remove it okay okay so flow is created so let's go ahead and run it so I click on the project go to the run as server and run as a mule application so it will start deploying my application on mule runtime all right it has deployed i switched to the post postman and hit the url 
so if i click on send button i should able to get the aggregated result of all three time regions here as you can see i'm getting the result for new york time region if i go down a bit here is for the london time region and again for the kolkata time region since we are not doing any kind of a transformation and we are all merging entire result into a single tag that's the reason we are getting it into such a form so let's go back to any point studio and slightly modify our transformation logic so before that i'll just shut down my application open the transform message and here inside it i'll just apply a map operator to iterate over it and i'll use a tag just to separate the time region based on its values and i'm giving entire that region uh, response to a single tag time zone so this should work fine i save it i clear the console and run it again click on okay it should deploy my application all right so i can switch back to postman and hit the same path i click on send button this time the response is quite easy to read here i just added a new tag where it is just separating the responses coming from that different route into the xml based on the tag so i have a first tag for one region second tag for the second region and so on so this is how we can use scatter gather component to run our or fulfill the requirement of concurrent execution in mulesoft thank you for watching